it's going to be the story of the Frog Prince. The Frog Prince. The Frog Prince. The frog prince. <laughs> Announcing the Frog Prince. I am Prince Perfect. And I am the mischievous monkey who accompanies him everywhere he goes. Because I'm so perfect, I can't do anything but bad or wrong. So if I need to do something bad or wrong, I tell the monkey to do it. Yeah, then I do it, and the prince doesn't get blamed. That's right, because nobody can blame a monkey for doing something mischievous, right? So, monkey, we're on our way to the house of the princess. And I want her to like me a lot. Yeah, I bet she does like you a lot because you're perfect. Yes, but I must remain perfect in her eyes. And that means I must bring her the perfect gift. So I want you to go and find the perfect gift for the princess and bring it back here. And I don't care what you have to do to get it. As long as I don't get blamed. Oh, all right then. I'll go get the perfect gift for the princess. That's a great plan, don't you think?
I was perfect before. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. I'm not perfect. I'm just a frog. Oh, oh no. Oh no, the princess will never love me. Yes, you're dressing 
Indeed, monkey. Your wondrousness of powerfulness. <laughs> uh, you are a very servile little monkey. What do you want? <laughs> well, I, I wanted to tell you something that, that I hope you'll listen carefully to and not be mad. Oh, uh, yes, yes. What did you want to say to me? Well, it was me who stole your flower. What? You stole the flower, not the prince? Well, I did it for the prince, but I was the one who did it, and I don't think he should be punished. I think if you're going to punish someone, you should punish me and turn me into, I don't know, an eagle or something. Eagle? Or maybe a, a fire truck would be all right. <laughs> I, well, I don't usually take requests of a monkey. Well, anyway, don't punish the prince anymore. The princess doesn't like him now that he's a frog, and, you know, he, he doesn't deserve to be a frog. I mean, maybe maybe a little while, but not for the rest of his life. I mean, he's going to get eaten by a stork or something. Yes, I suppose I was a bit hasty. I really am the kind of magician who likes everyone to be happy. Yeah, well, why don't you let me take the uh, one of the flowers to the princess and explain to her what happened, and maybe she'll kiss the prince after all. Uh, all right, here, I've got a bunch of these over here, and these are special flowers. They make people fall in love. Oh, boy, a flower that makes you fall in love? That's exactly what the princess should get. Here you go. Oh, thank you, magician. What? Thank you so much. Well, you're a good little monkey to stick up for your master like that, so I guess you aren't all bad. But no more stealing my flowers now. Oh, no, no, never again. All right, then. Goodbye. Hello, Prince Perfectiona. Princess Perfectiona. <coughs> Hello, little monkey. It's you again. You know, the last time you left me by the bog, a frog tried to kiss me. I, uh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Princess. I... I guess I'm not really responsible for the actions of uh, strange frogs, though. Um, no, I suppose not. I don't know if I should have said that. Anyway, uh, uh, Prince, Prince Perfect has another, another present for you. He does. And don't tell me I have to go out into the yard for it. Yeah, but it's because it's growing there. It's growing there, and you have to go and see where it's growing. It's growing. Yeah, it's growing in the yard. Come and look. Come and look, it's so pretty. It's going to make you feel really happy to see it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, all right, you're very persuasive. <laughs> Thank you. 